Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transpose MIDI in Reaper. Now, when it comes to recording MIDI, I'm not very talented at keyboard or piano. In fact, I tend to play my songs or chord changes in the key of C. And if I want a different key, I transpose that performance. So let me show you how to do that in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a drum loop and an empty MIDI item. So I'm going to record an arpeggio in the key of C into this item. So I could play all the white notes on my keyboard. And they'll always be in key. So let's do that. Now, if we want to view it, just double click the item, which opens up the MIDI editor. And the MIDI performance looks like this, starting in the key of C. Let's say I wanted this to be in a different key. We can go up here and right click. Go to View, and go down here and choose Transpose. Or we could hit the T key on our keyboard. And that opens up this dialog, where we could choose either all notes or just selected notes to transpose. Let's start off with all notes, and let's transpose this simple part a few semitones higher. So if I choose two, the notes move up, two semitones. And now the part is in the key of D, or D major. Or we can go up three, and now it's in E flat major. Or we can go down, maybe minus three, and now the notes move down, to A major. So we can change keys very easily from this dialog, but there's more we could do in this window. For example, instead of switching by semitones, we could change by key. Let's go right here from scale C major, which is what I played, and just change it to D major. And it'll do the same thing. Switch it to A major. And if it goes too high, we could switch it right here to down octaves. But what's great about this is we could switch it to different types of keys. For instance, let's put it back to C. And instead of doing major, we could switch it to C minor. So now it sounds like this. Or we could switch it to E flat minor. Let's go up an octave. Or any key or key type we want like pentatonic, or blues, or even load your own custom scale. Let's put it back to major, and instead, let's choose this option up here, called Snap to Scale. And if we choose this, it's going to snap our notes to any scale we choose. So if we choose C major, nothing really changes, because we played the part in C major. But we could change it to C minor, and it snaps the notes to the nearest note in that key. 
which is different from transposing. Because if we transpose up three steps, it moves all the keys up three steps. But if we just snap it to D, let's make it major, it doesn't necessarily move all the notes. It only moves the notes that are not in the key that we chose here. Let's switch it to E minor. And it just snaps to the nearest note in the E minor scale. So it's a bit different than transposing. But we could do both if we want. Bring it up three semitones and switch the key to G flat minor and get this. So it transposed up three steps, but also snapped it to the G flat minor scale. So it's very flexible. But if you just want to keep it really simple, just turn this off and change this to how many semitones you want to switch it to, either up or down. But if you know ahead of time you want to play a part in a different key, but you like me and you prefer to play in C or C major, we could change it on the way in before we record it. So let's delete all these notes. So it's empty. And now instead, let's go to the input effects on this track, which are right over here, which are different from the effects over here, which are the track effects. The track effects happen after we record on playback. But the input effects happen on the way in, and they're recorded that way. So if you know what you want ahead of time, you want to put it here. So let's choose the input effects. Let's go to the Reaper plugins right here and choose Rear Control MIDI. And that's going to look like this. Now this plugin will do more than transpose. We can change our presets or adjust our control changes. But right over here, we can transpose MIDI on the way in. So if we change this to one step higher, even if I play in C, it's going to come out in C sharp. So if you watch the keyboard down here, I'm playing in C. But if I bypass it, you could hear it in C. So what I'm playing and what we're going to record are going to be different. So if I bring it up two steps, we're going to hear it or record it in D. Before and after. And we could do all the same things we did before. Like we could snap the scale right here. So if I switch it to minor, even if I play in major, it plays in minor. Before and after. In fact, I can't play the major third. Both notes come out as the minor third. Because it snaps to a C minor scale. Or we could change it to D. Or anything else we want. But if you want to keep it simple, just leave this off and transpose it right here. Maybe you want to play the song in A major, just bring it down three steps, and we can record it, and it'll come out as A major. Even though I'm playing it in C major. So let's record it with this plugin already there. If I double click it, 
Here's our part. And we can see the first note I played is an A. Even though I really played a C. So it records the MIDI in real time in the other key. Of course, we can put it back by hitting T and bringing it up three semitones. And then it's transposed back to C. Or any other key we want to use. So that's pretty much it. That's transposing MIDI in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.